Welcome to the second episode of Mustang Media. We're your hosts, Catherine Caverini. And I'm Jesse Myers. For our first story, we're going to do, do a spotlight on a music student who is working to go above and beyond. Hi, I'm Derek Herbson. I'm singing tenor one, and I'm going to be auditioning for state choir this weekend. Last Thursday, Derek Herbison went to Wilson High School to try out for the PMEA State Choir. To see how he was preparing, I got to sit down with Derek. I've been preparing by um, taking time each day, sitting at my piano at home, um, basically just singing through um, all the music, um, paying attention to every little tiny detail. When you make a mistake, you mark your music, and you just dive into just making sure that every single little thing is absolutely perfect. The hardest part of regionals is it's got to be that when you're at the festival before your audition, you're singing for four hours straight, breaks are minimal, and then you have to deal with the intimidation factor during auditions with all the other people standing around, the judges, and then the audition selection because this music, this music is extremely hard. It's college level music and it's um extremely challenging. I think I have a shot. I think I have a shot for states. I'm seated 11th, so I, I have to jump, they take the top five, so I have to jump six chairs. It's just very intimidating and very, very difficult. But I practice, I worked extremely hard, I spent a lot of time with the music, and I feel very confident. I, I don't have, I feel if that, hey, if I go in there, I don't make it. I did everything I could. I practiced and I worked. For Mustang Media, I'm Jesse Myers. To some middle schoolers, high school can seem like a scary place, but with Southwestern's curriculum night, they put those worries at ease. While seniors are preparing to graduate, incoming freshmen and their parents are stopping by Southwestern High School to see what is in store for them for years to come. Last week, Southwestern High School had their curriculum night for upcoming freshmen and their parents to see what high school will be all about, including classes, clubs, and more. What curriculum night is, it's a time for our 8th graders to come over from EHMIS to see what programs we have to offer and the various activities that students can get involved in here at the high school. It gives them a chance to meet teachers um, and see the various courses that they can take throughout their high school career. What do I hope 8th uh, graders will get out of tonight's curriculum night? Uh, primarily that they have a better idea of what our building is like. Uh, they can tell a lot from uh, just entering the, uh, the space that we have a very, very uh, inclusive uh, program. We have art in the background. We have uh, all the departments present. We have guidance here. So there are a lot that uh, eighth graders can gain from just coming tonight. And their parents can ask teachers all kinds of questions about anything they want to know concerning any of our departments. I got to talk with a couple of upcoming students and their parents about how they feel about curriculum night. I think it's a really great idea. I think it gives the kids a chance to get a feel for the school and meet some of the teachers and get a better idea of what they have to look forward to. I like curriculum night because I like the opportunity to learn about the school, see the art, uh, just the opportunities of learning in general. Good luck in high school upcoming freshmen. Reporting from Mustang Media, this has been Catherine Caverini. Until next time. Over the past few weeks, Southwestern has been raising money for childhood cancer. One event in particular was brought to our attention. We go to Shannon Holt for a story on Mr. Minithon. Many people are affected by cancer, and in hopes to raise money for the Four Diamonds Fund, Abigail Bachman and Emily Geistroyd have created a Mr. Minithon event. So Mr. Minithon is a male pageant that we're doing for the first time ever this year. It's very exciting. The boys have to participate in four categories. They have a blue outwear, a formal wear, a talent, and they have swimwear. swimwear. Mr. Minithon got sparked from the state conference that Abby and I went to. Um, Abby went to a workshop about male pageants and on the bus ride home we started planning the event and said we wanted to have one. I'm hoping that we get a ton of the student body to come out and support the boys for Mr. Minithon. I'm hoping that we raise a ton of money for the kids. And the boys also have to, if they win for their grade, which will be three princes, they will compete at Minithon itself, 
which is next Friday. And the three princes then will go on and see who is crowned the overall Mr. Minithon. So they're going to each do their talent at Minithon to see who will be the overall winner. The boys had to can to be involved in Mr. Minithon, and they canned at some of the basketball games. They raised tons of money, I think $200, almost $300, so that was very impressive. We thought we would get about $50, so it's off to a great start, and I can't wait to see what else happens. Hopefully everyone comes out and watches. It's going to be a great time. So excited, making Southwest history. Was the turnout what you expected it to be? Yeah, it was awesome. We had a lot more people than we thought we would, which is really good, and that was a great turnout. This has been Shannon Holt, reporting for Mustang Media. I wonder how she can figure out what they're doing after high school. Here's Autumn with the story. <laughs> Our juniors had the opportunity today to talk to some post-secondary admissions counselors. Okay, that time will be here before you know it. And um, you need to start thinking of your future. Here are some of the representatives that spoke at the seminar. We're a community college, so we offer diploma, certificate, associate, and transfer degrees. Our programs are 10 to 17 months, and we train for over 30 of the world's top brands. I went and asked the counselors what they thought the students should have gotten out of the seminar. So it's important to get something after high school, whether it's a two-year degree, a trade or technical school, or a four-year degree. You've got to do something else. Just not high school is just not good enough anymore. We have a lot of things going on for our seniors, especially those who can't go to college. This is only like a nine-month course, and they can be out making money. Students choose us because they don't want to take unnecessary academics. Um, so our training is very hands-on. You're spending a lot of time in the shop doing. Um, you're not spending a lot of time on unnecessary book work. I think the biggest thing is just for them to see that there are a lot of different options out there. Um, some students learn better by doing hands-on, and I think that it's nice to see that you can do that whether it's healthcare, you know, cosmetology, more traditional academics, or even technology. With our school, if we offer the student acceptance, they actually start clinical experience right away. Uh, so they're actually learning in the classroom as well as learning in the real world setting. I'm Autumn, reporting for Mustang Media. Continuing from last week, here's some more future plans from our seniors. Katie Dunnock, Bridgewater College. Tyler Joukowsky, Lock Haven University. Julia Goldman, High Point University. Uh, Michael Ballou, uh, Lebanon Valley College. Eric Weldon, Hack. Thanks for watching Mustang Media. I'm Catherine Cavarini. And I'm Jesse Myers. You stay classy, Southwestern.